Hey there guys, I figured it's about time I do another one of those show off my video game collection videos because it's been quite a while since I did the last one. So, starting off, my Nintendo 64 games, these are all of them, I do not own a lot of these. Super Mario 64, Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2, Pokemon Snap, Lego Racers, Super Smash Bros. and Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Not a lot of uh, N64 games, I admit. I definitely missed out on a lot of stuff. But the N64 was my first console, so... I didn't really have the opportunity to buy a lot of games myself. I just had to tell my parents which one I wanted. And then they may, may or may not end up buying that for me. But whatever. Moving on to the Game Boy games. Displayed right next to them. Game Boy Advance first, we have Super Mario World. Come on, focus, damn it. Super Mario World, hang on, there we go. Super Mario Advance 2, Fire Emblem, The Sacred Stones, Kirby, Amazing Mirror, Advance Wars 2, Black Hole Rising, Hamtaro, Ham Ham, Heartbreak. I have no idea how that ended up in my collection, to be honest. Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. That is a ridiculously tiny font. Uh, so Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships 2004, I think? Oh, there we go, that's better. And Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition Stairway to the Destined Duel. Moving on, we have Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, and Metabots Metabi version. And then Metabots Rokushu version, Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, Metroid Fusion, Pokemon Leaf Green. And... Star Wars Flight of the Falcon, I have... I don't think I've actually ever played that game. I don't think it was very good. I haven't really heard many good things about it. Then another Pokemon Ruby, Pokemon Fire Red. Funny story about the uh, double Pokemon Rubies. When Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green came out in, I want to say, 2004, I pretty much told my mom, okay, I want the new Pokemon game. She said, okay, which one is that? The one that's, it's Pokemon Fire Red. It has like a red dragon on the cover. But Pokemon Ruby also has a red dragon on the cover. Well, I guess Groudon kind of looks like a dragon. So she ended up coming home with another copy of Pokemon Ruby. And because my little brother, I think, I think he tore it open as soon as she brought it home. So we couldn't return it. So that's why I have two copies of Pokemon Ruby. And then Game Boy Color games. I have no idea what this game is. It's like a weird Pokemon game, but with dinosaurs, it is horrible. I don't think I've ever seen any videos about it on YouTube, so maybe there's a little, uh, a nice little chance for me to get some exposure there. Although I doubt anyone's going to be looking for this game. And then we have Pokemon Silver, some Looney Tunes game, but that I don't think I've ever beaten. I recall playing this a lot on my Game Boy Color, but I don't think I've ever been able to beat it, so maybe I should give that a go sometime. Pokemon Trading Card Game, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Crystal, Pokemon Yellow, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Red, and Disney's Dinosaur. That was a great movie. That movie literally was my entire childhood. So good. Anyway, moving on over to my desk where I have all my DS games on display. Let's see, we have Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trials and Tribulations, Ace Attorney Apollo Justice, Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations, Brain Training, Mario Kart DS, Mario Slam Basketball, New Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario 64 DS, Metroid Prime Hunters, Metroid Prime Pinball, Kirby Mouse Attack, although the you Americans will know it as Kirby Squeak Squad. Uh, Kirby Mass Attack, Star Fox Command, Pokemon Dash, Pokemon Soul Silver, Pokemon Platinum, Pearl, Diamond, Black White, Black 2, White 2, Conquest, which I don't think I've ever played either. I have so many games I've never played. Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, Scribble Knots. Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky, Explorers of Darkness, ex uh, Blue Rescue Team. That is some weird driving exam training game that I got for my, I think, 17th birthday or something. It was really weird. 
uh, Tony Hawk's American Skateland. I did not buy this myself. This was inserted in the recording DS I imported from America. I have no idea why. And it's a freaking Tony Hawk game. I do not give two shits about skateboarding, so I've never even tried that. And lastly, 42 all-time classics. Fun card games and all that stuff. It, it, it's pretty fun for multiplayer. My friends and I played the shit out of this in high school during, like, recess and stuff. Anyway, moving on to the 3DS games. Come on, focus. There we go. Pokemon X, Y, Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Kirby Triple Deluxe, Super Smash Brothers for 3DS, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate and 4 Ultimate, Star Fox 64 3D, Fire Emblem Awakening, Kid Icarus Uprising, Mario Kart 7, Lego Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars, and Driver Renegade 3D, which I did not buy myself, the last one. I think I got that from, like, a co-worker who... I don't really know where she got that from. All she knew was, all I know was, she asked me if I had a 3DS, I said yes, oh, here you go, here's a game. Pretty weird story. I also have uh, a couple of digital games, I have Super Mario 3D Land and Ace Attorney Dual Destinies, I believe. Oh, and I also have Professor Layton vs. Ace Attorney, but I think one of my friends is borrowing that at the moment. I've been borrowing that for quite some time. Anyway, moving on. To... Oh, I might as well show off my Amiibos as well. I guess they're also technically kind of video games. Pretty much I have the entire Smash Brothers series so far. I don't really care about the Mario ones, because they pretty much do the exact same thing as the Smash Brothers ones anyway. With the exception of Toad. I might end up picking up a Toad somewhere down the line. But yeah, pretty much have all of them. There's uh, Lucario, Rosalina, Sheik, Bowser, Toon Link, Ike, Kirby, Mario, Marth, Yoshi, Pikachu, Link, Luigi, Diddy Kong, Sonic, Mega Man, DDD, Meta Knight, Shulk, Zelda, Captain Falcon, Donkey Kong, Wii Fit Trainer, Pit, Lil Max, Samus, Peach, Fox, Villager. I think that's all of them. It's like, uh, like 29 in total or something. And then there's gonna be six more in a couple days, like, t uh, like a week maybe. Week and a half. A little uh, P.D. Piranha door hanger there. I kind of wonder whatever happened to P.D. Piranha. He was in like every Mario game and then he just dropped off the face of the earth for some reason. I, I kinda, I'm kind of hoping he's going to make a comeback at some point. And then remember how I used to like... Always pull these huge stacks of games into the camera. To uh, show off. I don't have to do that anymore because I got shelves. It took freaking forever, but I finally invested in some shelves. And it's gonna make this stuff so much easier. So, let's start off with my Wii U games. We have Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Hyrule Warriors, Mario Kart 8, Marvel Avengers Battle for Earth, which is awful, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, New Super Mario Bros. U, Nintendo Land, Pikmin 3, Super Mario 3D World, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, and Zombie U. And then I also have Wind Waker HD as a digital game. And I think on Virtual Console on Wii U I have Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, Super Metroid, Kirby's Dream Land 3, and I think that's it. Oh, and Fire Emblem as well. Uh, next, uh, let's do GameCube games. We have Beyblade V4 Super Tournament Battle, which you may remember for that one Let's Not Play video I did about that. That game was terrible, although admittedly I don't know what I expected. Dakar 2, a game based on that one desert rally, which was from like Paris to some shithole in Africa. Except it's not going to a shithole in Africa anymore because of terrorism and now it's going to some shithole in South America or something. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, F-Zero GX, FIFA Football 2003, which is my little brother's game, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, the Game Boy Player startup disc, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, in Dutch, Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup, also in Dutch. The last one's kinda hard to see, but it's The Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Pretty damn good game, made by the guys who made the prototype games on PS3 and Xbox 360, so... Pretty good open world game if you want to wreck some stuff. I in, I recommend getting this. I think it's also on PS2 and Xbox. Down here we have Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, and Wind Waker, Mario Golf, Toadstool Tour, 
Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Party 4 through 7, Mario Baseball, Metal Gear Solid, The Twin Snakes. And we have Metroid Prime, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, Pikmin, Pokemon Coliseum, and Gale of Darkness, Resident Evil 3, Sonic Heroes. Yes, I own a Sonic game. Can you believe it? I honestly don't know. I guess I bought that well before I started disliking Sonic. Star Fox Adventures and Assault Star Wars Bounty Hunter, which is awful. I've tried playing it, I just can't progress past this one level, which is ridiculously hard. And uh, we have Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 and 3, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Super Mario Sunshine, Super Smash Bros. Melee, Turok Evolution, Universal Studios Theme Park Adventure, which is one of the worst games I've ever played by far, Beautiful Joe 1 and 2, and Zapper. Which is some really weird game that I think my little brother picked out of a budget bin somewhere. Anyway, that's all for the GameCube games. Drop down a little lower. Ah, oh, my knees. To the PS2 games. This camera might get a little shaky because I'm not that good at squatting. We have Battlefield 2, Modern Combat, Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. Disney's Dinosaur. The Dukes of Hazard, Return of the General Lee. Because nothing says fun like driving around with some southern rednecks. FIFA Football 2005 and 2007, again my little brother's games. Ghost Rider, Gran Turismo 4, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, Jaws Unleashed, Lego Star Wars 1 and 2, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, Monster Hunter, Mortal Kombat, Shaolin Monks. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie, the limited golden edition. Pretty cool box this is. Soul Calibur 2 and 3. Spider-Man 2, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Star Wars Racer Revenge, Tekken 5, Time Splitters Future Perfect, one of the best FPS games ever made in my opinion, War of the Monsters, Wrath Unleashed, and Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelists of the Roses. Alright, going back up. Ugh, thank goodness I'm not squatting anymore. We have the Wii games. 007 Quantum of Solace, which I think I got in... I bought like a whole box of games on a, like a yard sale and that was in there I believe. Ben 10 Alien Force and Ben 10 Protector of Earth because you guys love the Ben 10 games. At least they really rack in the views so I hunted those two down. This one in particular is a very recent addition to my collection. Then we have Bully Scholarship Edition, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Reflex Edition which I think was in the same box as this. Destroy All Humans, Big Willy Unleashed, gotta love the innuendo there. Donkey Kong Country Returns, Endless Ocean 1 and 2, FIFA 2008, again my little brother. Uh, we have Fire Emblem, Radiant Dawn, Kirby's Adventure Wii, Kirby Epic Yarn. Uh, what, what was... Hey, Kirby's Adventure Wii was, I think in America it was called Kirby's Return to Dreamland or something. So just in case you don't start wondering, hey, what the hell's this Kirby Adventure Wii I've never heard of? Anyway, The Legend of Zelda, Skyward Sword, Mad World, Mario Kart Wii, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I think that is one of the first games that caused my hatred of Sonic. And it wasn't even all that much Sonic's fault, it was just the crappy waggling. Uh, Mario Sports Mix, Mario Strikers Charged Football. Metroid Other M, which I really don't hate that much. Everyone hates it so much. I admit, it's nowhere near as good as the Prime games, but it's still not a bad game. Then we have the rare Metroid Prime Trilogy, Monster Hunter Tri, New Play Control, Pikmin 2, because I missed out on the GameCube Pikmin 2, and that is ridiculously rare, so I ended up getting the Wii version. New Super Mario Bros. Wii, No More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle. Still one of my favorite games to this day. If you haven't checked out my LP of that game yet, go and do it. It's a pretty old one, but it's good. Pirates of the Caribbean, At World's End, Pokemon Battle Revolution, Poke Park, Wii. Pikachu's Adventure and Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. I still need to get back to doing Poke Park 2 at some point. Punch Out Wii as well. And then last Wii games, I think. We have Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition, Sea Monsters, a prehistoric adventure, which I did a Let's Not Play video on. It's a horrible, horrible, horrible game. Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Wario Land The Shake Dimension, or I think in America it's called Wario Land Shake It. I guess I kind of like the Shake Dimension better. We play Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports as well, and the really rare Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes, I own a copy. 
I don't think it was all that rare here in Europe, to be honest. Ah, my knees again. Xbox 360 games. Battlefield Bad Company 2, Ben 10, Alien Force, Vilgax Attacks, Bionicle Heroes, because I have a huge Bionicle collection in boxes somewhere. Call of Duty Ghosts, my little brother's game again. Crackdown, Crackdown 2, Dead or Alive 4, Dead Rising, Fable 2, FIFA 9 through 12. My little brother loves him some FIFA. Gears of War, Gears of War 2, Gears of War 3, Gears of War Judgment, Halo Reach, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Cameo, Elements of Power, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Mass Effect 2, Collector's Edition, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, Peter Jackson's King Kong, the official game of the movie, again, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, again, Soul Calibur 4, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, and Turok. Okay, uh, let's see, going all the way back up again, we have PS4. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, Assassin's Creed Unity, Dragon Age, Inquisition, Dying Light, FIFA 15. Yes, my little brother is still playing his shit on my consoles, and I'm really not that fond of it. Infamous Second Son, Killzone Shadowfall, Knack, The Last of Us Remastered, Metal Gear Solid 5, Ground Zeroes, Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor, The Order 1886, and Watch Dogs. And also a whole bunch of digital games, but we'll get to that one later. Then, PSP. Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects, Medieval Resurrection, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid Portable Ops Plus. I don't really know what the difference was between Portable Ops and Portable Ops Plus, to be honest. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, which I don't think I've ever really played. Mo uh, Motorstorm Arctic Edge, Star Wars Battlefront, Elite Squadron, and Renegade Squadron, and Tony Hawk's Underground 2 Remix. I bought my PSP from my cousin, and it pretty much came with all his games, which I think were Grand Theft Auto, Marvel Nemesis, Motorstorm, and...